the intro. Okay, so another <clears throat> mini campaign. This time, uh, Changeling, the Dreaming. And uh, our glorious, glorious party is gonna be facing off against a uh, powerful vampire elder that for some reason is hunting them. And uh, today we're gonna do the character creation and maybe we'll even get to the point where we get to decide how their freehold is set up and uh, what kind of stuff they have available collectively to fight off this problem person. Probably problem person. Bum, bum, da, bum, bum, I mean, freeholds let you get rid of penalty, right? So if you just mm -hmm. ambush the lone travelers and sell them to the vampire, you might be able to strike a deal. Depends how evil this is. <laughs> yeah, it depends on whether or not we're seely or unseely, ultimately. I, 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 I don't think that's seely or unseely. I think that's shadow court right there. <laughs> just <Yeah>. straight up. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, seely tend to be more tilted. Shadow court. <laughs> Nobody's fucking Gee, taking Shadow Court Allegiance. Son of a bitch. No, you cannot be that guy. Okay, so who has actually figured their stuff out and managed to read and understand the book? I think um, I've got part? most of it. I just I didn't so really want to put anything straight down because I wanted to know what we were all doing and if there was anything I needed to... Actually, yeah, yeah. I've, I've tacked down attributes and abilities. I haven't actually put anything else down on the sheet, but I have a Word document with what I want and the uh, cost and everything. I don't know if I shared with everyone the uh, PDF sheet I found. I think I put it under... Let's, let's see if I can find it. Yes, here it is. Um, I'm going to send it to you on discord actually can i pin it in tabletop or something or post it there let's see will that work yes there that's a sheet asshole but you should be able to use this to fill it out and then we can use this for online reference because the Changeling sheet in Roll20 is from 2nd edition, and that's a bit too dated for our use. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so... Well, um... Epic, you have most of the stuff figured out for what you want. So why don't we go to the character creation section and go through it step by step, because it does already have a nice set of uh, checkpoints for us. Okay. Where's uh, the creation? Oh, no, no, that's not what it is. Uh, page 140 in the PDF for those of you wanting to follow along with this, and you probably should. There we go. We're gonna take this slow because Changeling is a magical system of dreams and madness that will drive us insane. It's almost as bad as dealing with the mages, right? Mages oh, yeah. are better, it's just their magic system that sucks, the rest is sane-ish. Here it's kind of everything. So, um, okay, epic. Uh, why don't we start off with your uh, concept? What is the general idea, okay. first of all? Well, the general idea was more or less uh, uh, possibly even a college student of, you know, some description here. Uh, I wasn't sure whether to go for, you know, programming or the arts, you know, trying to do photographs and that kind of shit. I was just going to decide that depending on, you know, kind of place we're going to end up doing. But more or less a fairly youngish type. Uh or one that works at a company, depending if that's not a you know applicable. So that's the first part. 
Mm -hmm. uh, besides that, I was thinking about making them a puka. Mm -hmm. For all the fun. <laughs> yeah, that's the next part. And what about... Uh... Oh. I guess we need to address this first. So, I will give you five uh, pulled backgrounds for free, essentially. So, cool. you will have some kind of a freehold, even if it's like a crappy one dot uh, one. For now. Mm -hmm. So, the question uh, is, what kind of setup do you want to create as a group? I mean, if possible, I'd like to point out to everybody else that um, I had been planning on putting my uh, my own personal dots into freehold and a title for everybody. Well, you can sacrifice your personal dots to get more pulled stuff, essentially. Yeah. yeah. So you can it boost that further. Better. Yeah, if you're going to be, if you're trying to build a ruler type character, then that's actually probably a good idea. It also makes people, more, it also makes us as players more likely to listen to you. That's what, uh, I mean, it was less about the uh, the players listening, but more to just kind of, because, you know, everybody's first time, I wanted to try to make sure we had the best kind yeah. of glamour refill that we could get, and because I also know we needed somebody with a title, and why not just jump right into the deep end, is my mindset, yeah. so. I mean, one, one thing, though, to point out is that I don't think you need a title if you're part of the Unseelie, because of how how crazy they kind of are uh i'm, I'm gonna sure that you say, still need a title yeah they just approach the feudal obligations differently i'm gonna limit yeah. your freehold rating essentially to unless it's like literally the bare minimum of like one maybe two points to uh twice uh whoever ends up being the titular uh, rulers uh rating in title. So, if you're a knight, you can have a freehold of max four points. I had... Because I had planned on taking the... Uh, now, you guys can stop me if this is insane, because you guys know of it, or about this, hopefully. I was planning on putting three points in the title. Okay. Because that would allow us to get a really nice freehold to... Um, title affects freehold? I don't think so. Uh, it doesn't, that. but I'm limiting it because if you are nobodies and you have like a rank 9 freehold, you essentially wouldn't have it because someone would have taken it from you by now, probably. Okay. So, I want to make sure that... Yeah. I'd rather us have like a safe spot that we could retreat to if things go... Uh, go bad. Well, why don't we essentially pencil in how much points everyone would be willing to uh, sacrifice to the group uh, pool, and then we can decide how best to spend them after that. Uh, in all players, edited by all players. Who wants to volunteer to be the scribe for this? Um, as in sticking around with your mysterious note? Yeah. Um, I can keep an eye on it. Okay, then, yeah, just, uh, so, uh, Epic, how much, if anything, oh. are you willing slash able, as a guideline anyway, to it, sacrifice to the group thing? This will probably, well, for the moment, I think, uh, I'm planning to use Basically, all of my freebies as I get to it. So, besides that, the five base dots, two into. Uh, was there anything really important to that we we needed to grab uh, besides maybe dreamers or anything? Uh, well, you will get a steady stream of uh, glamour as long as you hold on to the freehold. Dreamers are more of a backup option if you are somehow unable to get back in. So, not necessarily essential, because you already are going to have a uh, source of glamour that's plentiful and available. Uh-huh. 
Um, we probably want resources at some level, keep in mind. Um, That's what I figured. That's why I'm putting two yep. points into that. I uh, will say this. I will limit the individual backgrounds to a maximum rating of three, maybe two, depending on the background. And if you want to have a really good rating in something, it's going to have to be a group thing that's essentially died to the domain you hold. Yep. Which requires a bigger title. I mean, a freehold of six that would allow you to... It would essentially be anchored to the freehold, and the title would be anchored to that as well. You're not uh, Baron, what's his name? It's more that you're the Baron of that freehold. And while you hold it, you're effectively the Baron. Okay, uh, if that is the case, uh, I think I'll, I'll want two resources of the five I get for free. Um, be resources and all that. I will then have a one dot title or possibly being an unsealy. I'd like unsealy. <laughs> I mean, that's you can be whatever court you want. I'd prefer if it you just found a way to fit yourselves together in some way. But uh, yeah, essentially, that would make you a squire in. Uh... Probably Allied's household if he ends up being the ruler. Mm -hmm. well, I I mean, if, he makes a seed, if he makes a city, I think he'll basically automatic. With his three points in title that he basically earmarked for himself, I think he's basically labeled, uh, snagged himself rulership. More or less, probably. Yeah. Uh, besides that, uh, I suppose I, I'll definitely give one point, uh, possibly two, if for some reason it works out. Uh, pretty well in general. Okay, but for so, now, definitely one. So one to two points from Epic. Um, Allied, are you? What are you committing to the group pool, if anything? Um, stupid question, but I have to ask. Um, would it, because the uh, group thing, the group points seem to be end up going towards the freehold. Yes, if it's I essentially put... your collective organization. Um, if, could we put our own, like, could we have our, like, um, like, instead of donating dots to the freehold, like, the group collective, could we put our own dots into it and it would just kind of be like, how to word this best? Well, you can have personal stuff, it's just that a lot of these backgrounds don't scale linearly, they scale exponentially. So four resources is better than or at least I, as good I, as two guys with three. So it I is. I mean I have two points that I would I would put towards the like the group background, but I want to see that more go towards the like the freehold itself instead of a. I think he's talking about uh, having personal control over the resources we'll discuss uh, we will discuss that as a group you if in particular will have input over where those go it, this is not a final thing i just want us to have an idea as then, to yeah, what uh, kind of stuff we're working with I'll, I'll have i'll put two towards it but that's liable to change mm -hmm. so two with the idea that one of them gets used to bring the freehold rating to six uh, I would suggest, uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, Bengu? Yes, um, uh, like, one or two points I can give off the pool. Okay. Uh, Nyaxi? Uh, one or two, depending on how character creation goes, maybe more. Alright. Haru? Um, probably two. Okay. So we're looking in the range of something like uh, 10 to 15, depending on how these go. Uh, total. Like 5 to 10 from players and uh, 5 for free. 
Uh, so, like um, assuming that we just take free hull to six from the start, what else would you like to get? Do you guys want to maybe have a bit of a retinue for the group or something? I mean, I think we need guards at level six, like freehold, because that seems to be something that would get like a bunch of traffic. You already have your personal court of these four scrubs, and they will be able to maintain some order relatively easily. But uh, yeah, you can certainly take uh, retinue, you can take arsenal. I will let you take the uh, Sanctity background from the Tremere book for, to essentially account for any kind of supernatural uh, defenses that might be in place. Oh, that sounds interesting. That sounds good. That does sound good. This is the only issue with group backgrounds, democracy. <laughs> Why is it a problem? <laughs> Saying, there is no problem. Me. Listen, he's a silly lord. He doesn't believe in democracy. He believes hey, in look, order this, this... and tradition. Yes. And as the title holder, all these group background points are now mine. <laughs> I'm seeing you guys <laughs> <laughs> the common folk cannot be trusted with such power. Obviously. Yes, I mean, already I can am never happy. hold upon such things. I am <laughs> so happy that I invited you, Allied. You are the player I have always <laughs> wished for. I'm going to be assassinated so fucking quickly by somebody. <laughs> what do you mean assassinated? You can take like a uh, one or two point enemy to have a, <laughs> a hidden assassin somewhere that wants you dead. Okay. <laughs> it's just a would it be a cold you know, iron assassin, or would it just be a um, a normal kind of assassin? It depends. It actually you know, it depends on how many points he has in uh, enemy. If how he takes like a five point off? enemy, it's like a duke that wants to absorb this into personal holdings, like someone sharpening a knife right now. I mean. I would be down for it. <laughs> silly on silly fucking war. God damn it, Allied. <laughs> you don't need more wars. <laughs> we'll come back to that, Bob. What, um, for the, for the, you said sanctuary, right? Um, uh, yep. sanctity. It essentially Sanct denotes the strength of the security measures in place at the site. So things like traps, alarms, surveillance systems, magical defenses. Well, we put our own personal background dots into that, or does that have to be spent using the group pool? Uh, it probably wouldn't account to the freeholds group unless we did it as the group pool. Yeah, it, it has to be a group thing because it's tied to the site. I'm letting you essentially treat the freehold as a secured magical location, much the same way that the chantry is. So you know, scrubs with guns, uh, magical defenses, etc. I mean, I would suggest we have that as high as we can get, guys. I yes, we know. Yeah, uh, just defenses in general of the place. Magical defenses is better. Yeah. Not to be basic uh -huh. bitch defenses. These are magical yeah. ones. I mean, it depends on... Actually, it does include basic ones as well. But towards the higher end, yeah, you can get some interesting magical crap. I will need to look at what the changeling have available that can be adapted into it. But it can certainly be like having chimera around the place. Like, you know, dream stuff guard dogs or something. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, yeah. if nothing else, there's always, um, you can always have something bullshit from contracts or, um... Uh, or, uh, at level 4 or 5, I would certainly consider the Sovereign Guest List being in permanent effect. Yeah. <laughs> the what? 
it's essentially it. yeah. it's essentially bitches can't enter without invitation. Yeah. You can stick it on an item, and only a certain amount, and a, only certain people can use it. It's just put it it's on the door. Fucking crazy. Just, just put it. Well, on actually, the you just cast it on the place. Yeah, it would be the entire site that's covered in it. And if you don't have sovereign, it could be just something that's left in place by whoever you inherited this from. Cool. Yeah. So uh, we need to figure out how many points are going into this. Mm-hmm. Resources and it. arsenal and retainers are all good. You can certainly pull a fuck ton of points and make a, you know, freaking fortress. I mean, at some point, guards are gonna start going missing because vampires love changeling, yo, but, uh... <laughs> yeah. So I have a question. Yeah. Hmm? The, um, the free points that we're gonna get... If we were to convert them into these background dots, could we put that towards the group pool? Uh, the freebie yes. points? Yes. Yes, you can. You uh, can. I think it's toss. Mm, uh, would you guys be alright if I threw five at the uh, sanct uh, sanctity of I my own freebie points? And Go right ahead. Alright. Uh, Arman and Crash. Crash into that sanctity. I do hope you're keeping track of this, Saruman, and scribing this down, because I'm not. I am, in fact. Good, good. Um, I haven't actually hit the save changes, so it's probably not showing. Nope, yeah. it won't until you hit the save changes. Uh, make sure you don't accidentally close it without hitting that. Yes, did that just, just but, uh, save it yeah, on occasion so we can see the, how it's progressing. I mean, considering but, uh, I have the... It stand so far. Considering I have the title of the place, I feel like I had like that. My number one duty would be this to. This is uh, your investment. You're going to protect it. Yes, like it's my duty as the uh, the lord of this domain to ensure all the poor, poor idiots. You're definitely a fucking sealy. You're definitely I'll a sealy noble. Oh my god. <laughs> This um, is so. This is so much either a fucking. I think is, he's so actually like, the Arcadian she with that fucking flaw. Yeah. The the Arcadian oh, she. Yeah. That, and that that's makes why so much all sense. the scrubs in your little group have titles because he can't talk to you otherwise. He <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like you're all squires now. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah. I just I just granted. They're like, hey, and I'm like, mm, hey. Mm. We're being hunted. You're a sire. Okay, what's going on? <laughs> oh, you're being hunted by that guy? Okay. You no longer have that title. Let's go deal with the problem. <laughs> but yeah, um... Funnily enough, um, funnily enough, you have to actually buy up Faye to 2, it looks like, if you actually want to interact with anyone who has a title background. Uh, yes, absolutely. you I'm do, aware. but you can cheat that stuff if yeah, you Yeah, you can spend. cheat it by burning glamour. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I have my own ways of cheating that shit. Yay. Does that involve buying all of the realms? Um, no. No, it doesn't. In fact, I uh, wouldn't do that personally because... Uh, I'm right, I'm right, point you all like... uh, who are the six freebies in the... Uh from um those are the unused freebies that have marked the minimum number of unused freebies one from epic one from a uh, craft uh, yeah, uh there's one left from allied and one from everyone but me and then two left from me that's why i have that there all okay. right good 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 so six unused um Having at least a dot of arsenal, if you're gonna have a force of guards, or if you want to have weaponry available for you as a group in, you know, reasonable, easy to grab quantities, just in case you need to shotgun yeah. a bitch, would be useful. Yeah, that's that's probably a smart idea. I mean, Trying that's not gonna that be anything my character would think about, so. What's it gonna? Well, trying to find where the fuck that is on the, uh, the, the book. Arsenal. Arsenal's from Hunter's Hunter. It's right, Hunter's, from Hunter's yeah. yeah. I'm including stuff from other books and just recommending oh. things to you that I would allow. Oh dear, yep. five sanctity. I'm gonna have to come up with some cool traps and shit to secure the place. <laughs> Look, it is my duty to ensure my peasants are well defended within their place of rest. 
Yeah, also with the freehold rating, we're gonna probably have constant interruptions by the Esh by Eshu who are passing through or and Pete stuff like that. I would just assume nice that you, you huh? have like thirty guests in there that are constantly getting ambushed by vampires now. <laughs> That's why oh, we need God. to plug Tell me, do yeah, I need to knock it up the sanctity? I mean they can't go <laughs> oh, in, so but guests go not... out. Can I go in all in on sanctity and make it ten? Well, we'd have to make that our anchor then, instead of the freehold. Yeah, which doesn't it... really work that way. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, sanctity I is could... maxed I by uh... my... by the freehold. <laughs> uh, but then you would have to have a higher title. I could afford it with my freebies. He wants Save to use all his freebies. Oh. Out of his character, please. <laughs> no, I, I'm fine. I'm fine being a one-trick pony. You're just gonna have like fucking um, uh, sovereign five as your um for your uh, art, and that that's gonna be all you do. You're giving your city noble. You could probably get away with it too. You're just gonna have like um, uh, sovereign five and contracts five. Like those are probably going to be your bread and butter because they're fucking ludicrous if you're a ruler. I am gonna say that that's pushing it maybe a smidge too far. I would prefer characters that make some sense and could have survived without being drowned as children. So... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that could survive being drowned as kids, is that what you said? No, that could be kids survive without being drowned as children, I think is what he said. Oh, well... It's I mean, like, if he was, yeah, this... an Arcadian noble, then... This reincarnation it, it of yours sense. sucks. Uh, why don't you start the orchid? <laughs> bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. I mean, that that actually doesn't happen. He'd probably get picked off. But he's an Ar- if he's going to play an Arcadian, then he he basically is a stuck-up rich person who basically walked into a and is pretending to slum it, but doesn't like the fact that they are. He's actually making the perfect uh, Arcadian city, kind of, with That's how he's five. describing That's his five. character. I don't know what any of these words mean, but sure, I'll fucking do it. <laughs> well, local man signs contract with Satan, doesn't read fine print. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's fine. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Eh, no, that's how I'm fucking doing it. I'll, I'll, I'll deal with the bite backs. <laughs> Okay. I mean, as long as you stay honorable, I'm probably there because sworn okay, oath gives so me. So, do you want to reconsider how much each of you are contributing and add a fuck ton more there? What with all the good stuff that can be got? Uh, let's see. Do I really need anything else on this? Fuck no. If we get this freehold just secured as fuck, we should be great. Yeah, sure. Take an arm up. Tar- take. Guarantee another one of my points. Two. So. <laughs> Alright, so you're guaranteeing two. So we have seven points left over now. Also, I'm going to throw in another two. Uh. Cool. Uh, Nyaxi, crap, you guys throwing any shekels into the pool? Yeah, it's true, Mike, a two or three. Two or three? Alright. Craft. Uh. Hmm. I'll throw another one. Okay. So, four, uh, what is it? 14 now? We have 11 uh, and 12 or 13 currently for a uh, wiggle room available. Each. Some, uh, I mean, we. Here's a question: If we do resources, how long would it take for us to build up an arsenal? Like, are these magic bullshit guns, or is an arsenal just normal? Arsenal is a bit more or less preparedness. Yeah, so. arsenal would be normal weaponry. The problem is oh, that if we got it to higher dots, we could probably have it so that we have you know more illegal, possibly <laughs> shit, but. Yeah, the Where's big the problem is right? that you won't know that you're being fucked with to begin with, so you won't have an in-character reason to 
be building up an arsenal. And by the time you know you're that's, fucked with, you're gonna like, need it. Yeah. That's I mean, kind of exactly why I was like, I don't think my character would care about putting any kind of points into that. So, I mean, it's, I will point out though that um, it's if, not what your that, character as it would stands, commit to. Yeah. I will point out that there is that there's probably trade in raw chimerical items and uh, resources going on in the freehold if it's as big as it is. Probably it it depends actually on what kind it is. I assume you want a either a manor or a stronghold type uh, location, as opposed to like a marketplace. Yeah, I mean I'd uh, that would be more ideal, especially with Sanctity Five. Yeah, no, like a stronghold would be would make more sense. Yeah, with that much sanctity. Manor would be low sanctity. Manor or market would probably be lower sanctity than Market five. would yeah. probably max out our one or two sanctity. Manor, I could yep. see it being at five, if you're paranoid enough. <laughs> Pretty sweating. <laughs> right, right, we said that how it automatically gets the derangement paranoia flaw. Or something. I still have, I want my shekels out of that shit. <laughs> it's three <laughs> freebie points. No. I mean, I'll pick it up for this campaign too. <laughs> <laughs> He's paranoid. Oh, I get to play a puka. I am so happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, <no>. Any <laughs> merit or flaw has to be approved, approved. by let me uh, please page number and or link. And then kindly go fuck yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think it's part of the changeling things itself. And that was actually from a. That was even way back from the original Hunters Hunted. Mm, I think paranoia or. No, that was phobia. Paranoia is a derangement in which. Yeah. yeah. You know, either way, <laughs> fuck that. Okay, so, 11 freebies available. Well, uh, I would suggest getting at least some resources and probably some guards so you don't have to be tied up in that yourselves. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I forgot already. I have two dots of resources, so. Resource dots and grouped are still capped at two, right? Uh, no, Three. resource dots in that's group are capped at uh, six because that's your anchor rating. It would just be that something's that it would be something that's tied to the freehold rather than an individual. So maybe yep. the freehold is part of like a tourism company or something, or maybe it's uh, tied to a theater that makes good dough or anything so, or what whatever uh, you yeah. know. Slapping, slap, slapping on uh, another dot of sanctity. Then, so we have six dots. Hey, that's where one of my points will go. Oh, hey! (laughs) (laughs) You come to our stronghold in your time of need. Why? I'm just. (laughs) There are. I have found. Literally, the rituals for summoning demons using magic rites of all kinds. I know how it is done. I can make... I can summon a fucking malefactor and make cold iron daggers that will murder everything. All that are gate! <laughs> I mean, that's... I think that will only happen if we're up against the Bali, which I wouldn't put it past you. Not at this yeah, point. Yeah, not at this point. Have you seen the list, Aramon? Yeah, I see. I saw the list. Of the yeah. that about half of them we could probably make go away with diplomacy, but I'm not bank. I'm not banking on it. The rest of them we'd have to murder to make them stop. So the freehold is at six, and the uh, sanctity is now at six. <laughs> yeah. This is fucking amazing. <laughs> I so would guys, personally suggest we have an arsenal of two and um a resource of three. Okay, that would leave yeah. you with five more points. Yeah. Oh, that's if the others agree, because money mm-hmm. is always just useful in general. Maybe I'd say that that's fair. Uh, 
Did you say resources 10, Armand? No, resources four. 4. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, resources four. will make it easier to maintain freehold from any mortal fuckery, because you can make a lot of problems go away by hiring lawyers, for example, or uh, whatever. It will make it harder to, uh, you know, force you out. Hmm. Yeah. So, um, if, you guys kind of think to... for the interesting aspect of the game to do away without retainers and instead put uh, what we can into resources and maybe something else? Uh, contacts. Uh, lawyers, uh, werewolf tribes in the area, anyone. Yeah, and we, we just invest that six into that and we have friends with the local Fianna tribe. Well, you wouldn't be friends. You would have a wide range of contacts that you would be contacts able to reach whatever allies. you needed. Yeah. Yeah, if you put in six allies, then we could be friends with the If the allied took yeah. the uh, merit for oh. being considered a kinfolk for a werewolf tribe, he could have a werewolf bodyguard <gasps> if he took a point of retainers. Wait, wait, guys, guys, I have an idea. I have an idea. We could put mm -hmm. six points to Chimerical Companion for the Freehold. Free <laughs> <laughs> we will have the greatest and bestest of our troll friends ever. No, that would be... So, would, hold on, would that be... 30, 40... So, would that be, like, 90 points, then, with how it keeps going up on the Chimerical Companion chart? That's probably about it, yeah. Oh, you can make a lot of that. Sixty is already pretty insane. It would just be it would just be one single holy fuck, why do they have this bodyguard? Well, the only real issue is that like we dragged this thing out of the uh we dragged this out of the deep dreaming and tamed it somehow. Don't question how it we just did. It would make you virtually hey. invulnerable on the dreaming side of the freehold. But it would have yeah. a tough time projecting its power onto the normie side of it. You can actually give mm -hmm. it a power that lets it manifest in the autumn world. It, ah. I'm pretty yeah. sure there would be limitations on that. And either way, most of the things would that would come after you would have cold iron and they might just stab it to death. I mean, I'd rather have a werewolf friend on the, you know, the autumn world. I mean, it was just the yeah. idea because uh, that is pretty dope. Well, but my yeah, only issue. Yeah, point chimera is nice. But... Well, no, the only issue with the chimera is that it would have its own, um, like motives. Yeah. Which it would. can occasionally. At that point, it probably won't. At that point, <laughs> it, you literally have to keep giving it gold to add to its hoard. Yeah, stuff like just, that. Just in the <laughs> you need like resources gold. five to be able to afford that. Yeah, I mean, I don't dude. even have the title. The fucking dra the the chimera does. I'm just his yeah. front man. You're, you're the re you got your title for taking care for the, for okay. the chimera. So like, I, I found the rules on this, and it will cost a willpower point to uh, for a scene for the chimera to come to the physical world. Jesus Christ! Oh, a scene. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, so, Destroying the final boss. as far as werewolves go, um, Ally, if you take the merit yes. for being considered kinfolk and friendly to one of the werewolf tribes, and you would be able to pick tri the tribe barring something insane like the Get of Fenris or the Spiral Dancers, uh, you would be Don't able they to... Hey. Yes, exactly, that's why. You would be able uh -huh. to take... A rank one, like a essentially inexperienced werewolf bodyguard for a point in retainers. I would let you ha even potentially have two, but I'm gonna limit you to a max of two pet werewolves. Could I just have one better werewolf instead of two pet werewolves? Mm, no. Babysitting a very noble is not a very heroic task. It would be relegated to newbies. Uh, you wouldn't be necessarily, you know, seen as being threatened when this starts. 
yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's sort of one of those things that a, a werewolf would do if they wanted to earn uh, wisdom or honor points, but not something for, um, for glory. Yeah. It's an honor guard for, you know, mm -hmm. a uh, ally by, you know, in the next few decades, probably marriage. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. What, boss? I mean, if you take the merit, you get to uh, marry a wolf. It's outside of the scope of the game, but yeah, that probably would happen. Yeah, that's why they would guard you, because you are, yeah. you know, a valuable ally. <laughs> Family I mean, ties and all that. I mean, with, with the free vote at this point, I feel like I just have to keep going all in. Like, there's no... <laughs> But, there but, is absolutely uh, no chill on the freehold background. Well, uh, I, ju I just kind of like the idea of us having a giant fucking chimera. <laughs> you can't ride a I fucking dragon. No. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the dragon's like, hey, where's my goat? The folk is like, we don't have it. And then the dragon's like... <laughs> <laughs> Breathe fire. Why did we spend the one that lies to it? I mean, look... It it could be that its a very existence is pa petramount, you know, tantamount to the defense of this freehold. Listen, you can manifest Trogdor in the autumn world for a scene, but the <laughs> overwhelming weight of penalty will probably horribly wound, if not destroyed, after that scene. You can't just slam down a helicopter with the muscle arm and have it go without any consequence, okay? But you can! can. Not without consequence. Yeah, yeah, the chopper yeah. would die, but... Uh, <laughs> people will really notice. No, you can. You can. No. no I five so says I can. <laughs> Epic, go fuck yourself. No, you can't. <laughs> Finality <laughs> doesn't have anything to do with using it like that for my. I read stuff. the book Chimera. Uh, when they attract the attention of mortals, it's banality that prevents them from doing things in sight of mortals and using chimerical objects when they don't have a uh, physical component to them in a way that forces mortals to notice them can destroy them. Oh, okay. I honestly haven't read anything on the Chimera stuff. It just sounds um, I will point out, though, that invoking the uh, the weird tends to make mortals... It basically makes the mortals stop paying attention to everything. I'm, After I'm very aware death of that. fact, yeah. Aruman. That's fair. That mountain did not jump. <laughs> <laughs> and Never that happened. birthday, invoking the weird, just uh, amps up you. And mortals, they don't yeah. forget everything, they forget the magical parts of it. Totally. They Somebody went and mountain. took a giant scoop of the mountain and put it over there, right? That's how that happened. Yes. Um... <laughs> so, while Trogdor to would get wounded, slamming down the helicopter, people would forget that it was Trogdor and they would assume that you had an RPG and you would be dealing with the FBI. I mean, yeah. it depends. There, it goes in all, all kinds of ways. They would essentially yeah. forget the magical parts of it unless they were horribly autumn people. And most of them would be sitting at six or seven. So they would remember and reconstruct the bits and pieces that they do remember. Horrible, uh, I've heard of all kinds of reconstruction, though, from all kinds of ways. It could also manifest as a malfunction in the helicopter. Mm-hmm. Not if it's... Their brain would remember that there was some kind of an act of aggression in a lot of uh, situations, enough for people to make assumptions. I mean, the damages from a body slam from Trogdor is not the same kind of damages that get you get from a Well, malfunction. potentially, but that would be figured out through forensics after the FBI arrive on the scene and investigate. It wouldn't prevent them from coming over and asking questions. I mean, the poker can do it, right? Doesn't mean he's gonna lie. But in any case, we're getting sidetracked. Yeah. I'm just trying to find where the fuck this merit is, how much it costs, and where do I put it on this character sheet. Okay. Let's see. Now, give me a moment. I'm gonna look it up for you, because... 
I'm at Thanks the far. merit start at like 178. Oh, yeah. it certainly wasn't oh, mental, it was social one. Shrill broody, poison resistance, increased mm. pain threshold, <laughs> prehensile tongue. That's Demi's thing. <laughs> uh, let's... You do have the option of taking a danger sense. In this one, yep, blood of the wolf, okay. four points, four glorious freebie points. Oh, that thing! Oh, I remember it. Okay. I am clearly blind in here because I cannot see that. I posted it in roll twenty chat. You can use the uh, the control F on it. it blood is of the wolf. Kitty, fuck off. May call on you to perform certain tasks for them and turn Aju when necessary. You may be expected to take a werewolf spouse to better strength. Okay, because you guys played werewolf before, right? Yes. Yeah. What I'm type alone. of shit would a werewolf call of Beta do? Uh, that is not a question it ever answers. Don't uh, worry about safe it. haven for other kinfolk potentially. If you're in the city, uh, uh, helping them, for example, sanctify a truce with either other werewolf tribes or sects, or potentially with other supernaturals like vampires in case they wanted to enforce a deal. If you had contracts. Uh, hmm. Anything that, since you apparently are going to have a great deal of money available to you, anything that requires monetary type of influence, um, essentially anything that can help them in their war without putting their kinfolk, namely you, at, you know, frontline risk. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be like lead your fey in the combat against the fucking werewolves. Uh, not unless they're getting oh, yeah. their... Uh, so they bounded. slammed into the concrete a lot. Uh, yeah, they yeah. like keeping that kind of shit for their own glory. Four po so that's four points. And mm -hmm. a fifth one to actually take the retainers to buy the uh, bodyguard. Yeah, werewolves are fucking terrifying to fight, though, as basically anyone, so it's useful. These would be my personal. This would be for my pers personal Yes, thing, they correct? would... Put all the mm -hmm. nuts into it, yes. Um, I feel like because I'm well. going to be weak and feeble combat-wise with the rate this is going, <laughs> I will need some strong, strong lichens to uh, protect my squishy body. Uh, we are werewolves. Oh. We do not believe in banality. Oh, look, I'm growing claws. <laughs> Yeah. Just, just don't insult them, and we won't. Uh, we we won't suddenly be missing several important bits and pieces of us. Yeah, I'll let Aruman consult you on what tribes might be good for this if you decide to go for it, and yep. he can help you pick out one that will fit your desires. So that's mm -hmm. five points then. You said for one of them. Uh, yes. Or yep. or. Four points for the merit, and the merit unlocks you the uh, option of using your retainer backgrounds to get instead of changelings, werewolves. Yep. Can they enter the freehold without any ill effects on the freehold? Oh, easily. They can step yeah. sideways at will. They can get in in ways you can't. Honestly. Oh. Huh? Hmm. Yep. They can oh, technically jump into what is probably the near dreaming. It, uh, it's not, but they can travel can through worlds. Yeah, mm -hmm. So the only thing they probably couldn't do would be enter the freehold without our permission with the six sanctity. Yeah, probably or at least until we put their name on the guest list. Uh, then they probably do. Uh, if you wanted to keep them out, you might be able to, but these would be your distant relatives, so there would be a blood connection which would make this kind, these kind of defenses a little more fuzzy against them particularly. Yeah. 
probably active hostile intent would be required for it to actually fire on them. Hmm. Yeah. So anyways, uh, resources, arsenal, how many points do we want for that? I don't think I got anything conclusive. I think foreign resources is what three people wanted. Yeah, that sounds that sounds fine. Okay. Um, arsenal points. Um, I think we wanted three. Was the uh, general conclusion? I think we wanted uh, we wanted two. That was enough to get yeah. like uh, ten, fifteen guns. So like shotguns and rifles, uh, enough for everyone. All right, makes sense. Yeah, we don't need too oh, many. We need to be running around with anti-tank rifles. I mean, these would be like hunting rifles, not assault rifles. Yeah. I mean, All right, so here I mean, is as far. Yeah, here is as far as fair, I can I... tell. Um, what I have. Mm -hmm. To be fair, I cannot uh, justify using a, an AK-47 uh, fully automatic as a hunting rifle in my state currently. So, uh, I would, since the. <laughs> That's like, uh, I think there were some bullshit laws from what I think I remember that essentially loopholes that allow it uh, to be a thing. So I would count Where? that as a, uh, as in assault rifles in America, fully automatic ones. Oh yeah, it's possible. Well, yeah, by all technicalities, it's an assault rifle, but our Yes. My state allows me the loophole. Yeah, so not the loophole. I would the count that as a legal gray area weapon for America. Oh. So that would yes. be slightly higher rating in Arsenal. Mm -hmm. That would be correct. It's so more or less legal how gray. Many, my apologies. How many points do we have left? Uh, five. Five. Arsenal, five. Uh, I don't know. Maybe put more into resources. Six, six, six. Uh, uh, we want some of the. Remember, Ally just unlocked the ability to snag a uh, werewolf honor guard too. Uh, that would that's be not for him. him. That's yeah, for his. that's yeah, that's, that's, that's him personally. Yeah, you would not be All able right. to get one for the freehold. That's specifically for him. Yeah. I mean, if yes. things go bad, I could always offer the tribe to come live with us, but that would probably cause a bit more issues than uh, <laughs> anything else. Yeah, hey guys, no, that's, that's not a good idea. Yeah, no. Vampires uh, attack the world. Fucking surprise. Contact. Fetty. You, with the kind of stuff you're building up, you probably want some contacts to effectively leverage some of that stuff to get rid of problems. Yeah, it's like mm -hmm. a lawyer. Yeah. Uh, you can contact. also have something like, I will not let you have vampire allies, but you could <laughs> have like a neonate contact to pick up information from potentially. They might want a few pints of blood, mind you, but... I mean, I mean here's fine. the thing, though. Changeling blood is, like, the trippiest drug ever to vampires. Exactly. Some vampires really like it, some <laughs> others don't. So. Yep. It'd probably be a Malkadian neonate we made friends with. Not necessarily. Right, the, uh, they might just yeah. be peddling. Mm-hmm. Hermann, would... remember the uh, Nosferatu from the Toulouse, just always getting high. I will... <laughs> I will roll randomly for whichever clan that might end up being. Tremere. <laughs> it's fucking Tremere. <laughs> I think that's off the list because they tend to be banality like seven minimum. Not necessarily. They could be magic. really passionate and inspired about the magic. Yeah, but there's the whole gigantic pyramid clan structure thing that they all have in Doctor Who. Aruma, it's oh. gonna be a neonate. They're not gonna be an autumn yeah. person yet. Yeah, that's what, fair. what you're talking about is elder levels of bullshit. And even then, it's kind of up in the air on whether or not 
they actually suffer from banality? Uh, well, banality is a mindset thing. And they might not suffer from it, but they could easily project it. Like a technocrat cert would be like fucking poison to you. Most totally. of them anyway. So they would not might not suffer from it due to their abilities, but they would hurt you with it, which is the dangerous part. Which is why we have werewolves drop off the blood. <laughs> uh no, 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 no. Okay. So <laughs> So, the uh, Vendigo Arun rolls for a uh, rage. Oh no, yeah. four successes. Look at that. You're gonna need a new contact. Reduce those dots by one. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, no. You do not have the. Uh, you, you, you don't. I, you I do don't have a yeah, yeah, no. Although, if we, if we have a grump in our party, then the, he'd, he'd be the perfect one. They don't suffer effects from high banality people. Yep. And I would say that if you pick up two werewolves, there would be an expectation of at least, like, they are as close to you as possible. And if you had two, it would be like, one is in your presence at all times, kind of thing. Because they're guarding you specifically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I kind of like that idea. Yeah, I'm gonna split the video here and uh, let out this fucking cat, because he is... He's proclaiming that I have trapped him and doomed him to a slow death by starvation and thirst. Yeah, I'll also go and get some.